More proof that Covington Catholic is a horrible institution of bigots and homophobes. At least, that's what you'd probably think if you read this headline. Admittedly, when I first saw this headline, I went, hmm, that's really interesting. I can't imagine why this would be true. Gay valedictorian banned from speaking at Covington graduation? Not surprised by DC controversy. A gay student who was barred by the Covington Diocese from speaking at his 2018 graduation is not surprised by the Covington, Covington Catholic High School video. My stars and garters. It sounds like one of the students from Covington Catholic, Catholic who was the valedictorian, the brightest, hardest working, was not allowed to speak because he was gay? Oh, that's actually not true at all. Apparently, this kid's not even a student at the school. He's just a student in the diocese, meaning in the district. And guess what? Why wasn't he allowed to speak? Well, the primary reason cited, he didn't deliver his speech on time. So what are we, what are we doing? What is this? NBC News, what are, you, what are you doing? Now, they do say that there was political speech in his, uh, in his speech that they didn't align with. However, uh, I'll say this. Some people have said, okay, so maybe, maybe it did have something to do with being gay. We don't know what the political speech was. I think that's a fair assumption. But the student actually said he doesn't know if that's why he was banned. He just didn't deliver the speech on time. Why is this a news story and why do we care about this kid's opinion? But let's read some of this story and see just exactly what's going on. Video of white students from Covenant Catholic High School confronting a Native American elder. We, we, we get all that. We've, how many videos have we made? So like 15 videos? Actually, maybe like eight, but still. In May of last year, the Catholic Diocese ruled just hours before Holy Cross High School's graduation that the openly gay valedictorian and the student council president could not give their planned speeches at the Covington School's official graduation ceremony. Wait, wait, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Wait, Holy Cross High School. Holy, Holy Cross High School, that's not Covington Catholic. Banned from speaking at Covington graduation. Oh, you see what they did? It's the city. So why is this kid from a different school concerned about what this other school is doing? So uh, they go on to say, determined to make their voices heard, the valedictorian Christian Bales and the student council president decided to give their speeches anyway. After the official ceremony, the pair grabbed a megaphone and spoke to a crowd of students and families on the school's lawn. Bale's speech, which was posted to social media, quickly went viral. Bale said at the time he was unsure whether his sexual orientation played a role in the Diocese of Covington's decision to not permit him to speak at graduation. I honestly have no idea, because what I've been taught about the Catholic faith is that it's about love and tolerance and acceptance of all people, he said. I honestly have no idea. Don't get me wrong. It is possible. He did give a speech. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. They have the video of his speech. You know, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm not going to watch it. I should, I get it, you guys can watch it. The point I'm trying to make is, we don't need to jump to conclusions. We don't need to assume this isn't the case. The important things to point out is that when it comes to the story from NBC News, they didn't make that overtly clear if that was in his speech, and his own statement was, I honestly have no idea. More importantly, they, they bring up, so we'll, we'll, we'll read on. Bales, now 19 and a freshman at the University of Louisville, spoke to NBC News on Tuesday about last year's incident and the recent viral video that has dragged Covington back into the national spotlight. I was not surprised at all, Bales plainly told NBC News when asked for his reaction to last week's confrontation. It was only a matter of time that something this school community did would blow up to this degree, and I think they need to be held accountable. For what? It's a video of a kid smiling at a guy who got in his face. Literally nothing happened. Bale, Bales claims Covington Catholic is notorious for being not well-disciplined school, and he described the Diocese of Covington as archaic. They have the very last say in everything about the students in the diocese, Bale says, adding that the diocese has still not provided him and the student council president with thorough explanations of why their speeches were canceled last year. Okay. Well, he doesn't know why they canceled. At the time, a spokesperson for the Diocese of Covington said the students' speeches were not submitted on time and were political and inconsistent with the teachings of the Catholic Church, assertions Bales denies. Okay. So we have a conflict. May or may not be the case. Here's the main point. Is it possible they banned him because he was gay and his speech was about it? Absolutely, 100%. Do we know that for sure? We don't. We, we don't know why. In fact, even Bale says he doesn't know why. So once again, the media has jumped on a narrative without doing any research and has no idea what's really going on, but has framed in such a way to convince people that this is a student who went to the same school as the other kids and he's expressing his, you know, that they were homophobic. and that, That's what they're framing it as, right? But as we can see... The school said the speeches weren't submitted on time. 
That may or may not be true. I don't know. The point is we've got a conflicting narrative and no evidence. What do you want me to do? You want me to make assumptions about who did what or why? Especially when the media frames it as gay valedictorian banned from speaking at Covenant graduation. But it's a different school. There's nothing to do with this one. As for the latest incident, the Covenant Diocese told Cincinnati Inquiry, yeah, 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 we get all the stuff. Bail sentiment is echoed by the American Indian movement, chapters of Indiana and Kentucky, which said on Facebook, the new video does not absolve these boys of their behavior. It actually does. They just don't want to let it go. What did we actually learn? Black Hebrew Israelites were being extremely offensive and provocative, as they always do, saying homophobic, homophobic and racist slurs, and the kids were countering that narrative. When these people were saying Trump is gay, they said, who cares? When they talked about gay people, uh, the Hebrew Israelites said gay people shouldn't have rights, they said they're still human. These kids claim that they were chanting their school chants to drown out the hate. And Nathan Phillips and the other Native American man, I believe his name was Marcus, Marcus, uh, uh, I believe his name is, posted to Facebook, he wanted to stand in solidarity with the black Hebrew Israelites. Okay, so, so, so what is this? But here's where it gets really, really interesting. Reddit. This story, uh, I, I believe, reached number two on r slash news. So we can see here the r slash news subreddit gay valedictorian banned from speaking covenant graduation, not surprised. And what is the top comment with gold? Wait, this guy didn't go to Covington High School? This title is misleading? He went to a completely different school if I'm reading this right. And he's not banned from giving the speech because he's gay. He was banned because he, tur he turned it in late. Edit. In avoidance to bias, they also banned him from, from giving the speech due to political reasons that don't align with them. My point still stands though, but I also listen to the people. This person said, holy F, I couldn't make this up if I tried. The media is an absolute pathetic embarrassment. If the media were intentionally trying to ruin what's left of their credibility, could they do a better job than what they're doing with these past few days? How many massive hoaxes, fake news, have we seen since the start of the year? It's the, it's the 23rd. Um, when, when was that uh, everyone was mad about Cortez dancing thing? Was that, was that January? You've got this story. Where they're like, conservatives are sure mad. And then, you know, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says something like, the GOP thinks fun should be banned. And it's like, what are you talking about? Nobody was criticized. It's like one random person on Twitter criticizing you and everyone ratioed the person. Then you had, what else? You have, you have the BuzzFeed thing where BuzzFeed claimed, you know, Trump ordered Cohen to lie, which turned out to be not true, though they're still standing by it, even though the Washington Post, the New York Times, and even the Mueller office the spokesperson himself said it's not true. How this happens, I have no idea. But that's what, three stories? And I'm sure there's more. Three, and this one, right? Oh, so this makes four. This makes four, okay. But not as big as uh, the, the whole controversy over Covington. How many stories came out from Covington that were fake? First of all, we now know, actually, it, it is being alleged, uh, I, I don't know what a DD214 is, if, uh, but apparently there's a now circulation, uh, documents going around, my dad, who was a Marine, says he believes, he, belie he posted about how he believes this to be true. So, oh, all right, my dad was a Marine. I think he knows what he's, what, what's going on. But apparently this guy went AWOL two or three times. Nathan Phillips, Native American. He was a refrigerator repairman in the Marine Reserves. He claimed he was a recon ranger. And people are like, that doesn't mean anything. That's not even a thing. He also kept saying he was in the Vietnam era. era and many people said that he uh, uh, was a veteran. They've all retracted that. Apparently... He, he, he made allusions to coming back from Vietnam and said like a hippie girl spit on him. And so it sounds like this dude's just a liar, just a total and complete fraud. So now you've got that fake news. He was never a Vietnam veteran. They had all the news, news outlets corrected that. The, the, the basis of the story that the kids went and surrounded the Native Americans, that's not true. So that was fake. Veteran was fake. Then, they, then CNN reported it was black activists preaching about oppression. That's not true. They're the black Hebrew Israelites, a racist hate group. So that wasn't true. The, the whole thing was a slew of ridiculous fake stories one after another. Here we go. So is this story fake news? Technically, no. They've done something clever. They've titled it in such a way to make the average person assume what this story is. Now, I made a video about a group called The Free Press. It's freepress.net and how they claim to be fighting for an open and free internet while actively calling for the permanent ban of Alex Jones. And I'll say it every single time because I have to. I know people are going to be like, why do you say it so much? I don't like Alex Jones. I'm not a fan of his content, but I don't think he should be banned. Look, look it's, it's, are we going to, look, Twitter and Facebook purged Occupy activists. We knew this was going to happen. But anyway, one of their people from the free press tweeted in response to the interview that NBC News did with the, with the kid, Nick Stedman, uh, Sandman. He said, do you even read your own reporting and link to the story? 
And I responded, did you even read the story? The story is apparently about a kid who lives in the town who went to a different school. The different school wasn't going to allow him to speak. And, it's, and they claim it's because he didn't submit his speech on time. He's, and he even said, and here's the kicker, look, maybe, maybe it was because he's gay, but he said he didn't know. He said, I honestly don't know. Okay, if, that, if, if, this is, if this is where we're at, you don't know, and the school said it was because of, you didn't submit it on time, with some political speech, well, then it's a maybe. It's a maybe, but a probably not. It, it's a maybe, it could be. I'm just not, I'm going to weigh in on the side of, if the kid doesn't even know why he was banned, he, he has no reason to believe it was because he's gay, he went to a different school, and he, the, the school said he didn't submit it on time, like, what are we, what are we doing? What are we, what are we talking about? It's going to keep happening. You even had Ilan Omar, the now sitting congresswoman, tweet a defense of the Hebrew Israelites. But that's, that's, that's going to be my main video that I'm doing uh, at 4 p.m. Because, holy crap, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm really, really, really worried. And, and I, I mean this sincerely. With uh, the, the defense of a known racist hate group citing homophobic slurs, I, I, I wonder if it's because she's religious and Abrahamic religions... You know, like we're look. Let's let's go ahead and assume the diocese didn't want him speaking because he was gay. Well, the, it's it's very similar teachings to uh, the Quran, though Christianity and Judaism went through a reform period that many people say Islam didn't. You now have a religious woman sitting in Congress defending a known homophobic and racist group. I have to wonder if there's a connection there. If we're going to spend so much time criticizing the evangelical Christians for you know for decades about their stance in opposition to gay marriage and gay rights. And now we have another Abrahamic religious individual sitting in Congress defending a homophobic group. There, look, it's, it's so insane that this is even controversial. But something has to be said. Where is the left defending gay rights? They claim to. But they're also defending Ilan Omar, and she's defending homophobes. Why is this the case? I can, I, I'm only going to say this. The fox is guarding the hen house. Homophobic anti-Semites are, are, are infiltrating the left. And this is why I've been repeatedly calling out this stuff nonstop, because it's where I'm sitting and I'm watching it happen and no one is standing up. But anyway, that, I'm going to save that for my video at 4 p.m. because I've got a bunch of sources. We're going to talk about the controversy and the collapse of the Democrats. But there you go. More fake news. Look at this. Look, even, even Reddit calling them out. 3,065 points nine hours ago with gold, gold. Like people on Reddit are saying, holy sh... This is fake news. This is scary. It just keeps happening. I think we're facing a, a, the fabric of society is collapsing. Well, I'm, I'm going to save the rest. I'll see you guys at 4 p.m. YouTube.com slash TimCast.